that's a lot of bike parts. And that's a lot of tires. And all of it is going on to our bikes. Doing this amount of maintenance and upgrades is going to take a while. So in the process, we're showing you what we ride in our first ever bike check, all in our brand new studio. Starting with a complete bike build from scratch. Now I've heard that there's no better feeling than riding a bike that you built, but it's even better when Jason builds it. It's true, I do build a mean bike. And today I'm building Matt's all new Fuel EX. Lucky boy. Quick and nimble, this bike is seriously fun to jump around. And if Matt's forcing me to build his bike, that's fine. I'll just force him to do bar spins. I call it the Cockpit of Revenge. Next, we're installing the all new GX Eagle transmission. If you're familiar with Eagle transmission, it's almost the same. Wireless, robust, simple to set up, but it's more affordable. Check out how the battery slides horizontally into the rear. Say la vie, derailleur hangers, and welcome to the future. The crank set is new, robust AF, with two bash guards, eh? And look at this thing, way too shiny. Let's get some dirt on that. GX cassette on a 27.5 inch rear wheel with a larger 29 inch wheel up front. Matt's going mullet, baby. So what's the big deal with all this GX stuff? Basically, it's super strong and it shifts smoothly even when you're pedaling hard. Ah yes, smooth as an oiled boob. Next up, we attach this pod that controls the wireless RockShox dropper post. Freshly charged battery, a quick bleed on a pair of SRAM codes, a small tweak here, a small tweak there, and that's it. Matt's new bar spinning, mullet pinning, boosting machine. Thanks, Jason. And now for something a little different, but kind of the same. This is my E mountain bike. You could tell by the extra E. This thing rips. And if by now you think we're spoiled brats, avert your eyes from the box of new parts. New chain ring, new derailleur, new cranks, new seat post. Am I dreaming? This is too good. New XO Eagle transmission, new SRAM codes, shiny new cockpit. Ready to pass you on the climb. My gravel bike is in pieces. It's a work in progress. I've had this sucker for five years now and I've put a whole lot of miles on it, but I'm excited because we're stripping it down and building it up with all new components. We hardly have any idea what we're doing rebuilding Spike, but screw it, too late now. A brand new RockShox Rudy with just a little bit of suspension. New tires and rotors, new stem and handlebars, and a wireless derailleur is about as far as we got until we gave up. Next is my dirt jump bike. Despite having a custom paint job, it's very similar to my other bikes, in which it hucks. New stem, new bar, new grips. Man, I love this bike. Dozens of IFHT bear stickers are painted over with Trek's reflective paint that shifts color. Plus, the stickers are cut from reflective 3M safety tape and pop in direct light. Other than a good cleanup and tune, this bike runs perfect the way it is. Now for something completely, completely different. A custom painted 2003 Brody Diablo with Pit Viper graphics made specially for our new bike day music video. Hand delivered to me in the video by Brett Tippy himself. This bike always gets the people going. Between the junior tees and these beefy components, my favorite part is still this huge flaming seat. Last but not least are my two VHS mountain bikes, inspired by blank VHS covers of the 80s and 90s. These bikes are the result of a bunch of talented people and hours and hours of meticulous hand painting. I commissioned the fine folks at Fresh Paints in Whistler, BC to paint these bikes and they absolutely killed it. One in white and one in black. These are the kind of bikes you don't park and walk away from without taking a quick glance back. If you can't tell, yeah, I'm pretty pumped on these bikes. Having custom painted bikes has been pretty much a lifelong dream. So I had to take it off the bucket list and just totally YOLO it. And those are my bikes. Now let's find out what's between Jason's legs. What's between my legs is kind of what's between Matt's legs. This big blue brawler is my slash and it has seen some shit over the past year. Crashes, quadruple crowns, airplane rides, it handles everything. But it's the bike I use the most and I can always count on it when the trail gets rough. Most of the parts on this bike work just fine. All they need is a little tune-up. And who doesn't love a fresh cockpit and some rubber? 
We run these Bontrager G5 tires on pretty much all of our bikes. Grippy in all conditions and very resistant to flats. Moving on to a bike that only rides park, this is my Trek session. And <gasps> it only has 27.5 inch wheels. But that's okay, because I love jumping and jibbing in the bike park. And this bike is perfect for that. Oh, and hucking. This bike hucks for sure. Carbon Bontrager rims, meaty rubber, with brakes and drivetrain handled by SRAM. A quick tune-up on this bike, and it's ready for a season of shredding. Next up is my Trek Fuel EX, which is basically a more pedal-friendly bike compared to the Slash. And this baby is getting the fresh GX Eagle treatment, along with new SRAM codes as well. Luckily, this bike has tubes inside the frame, which make routing the brake cable quick and easy. No bar spins for me, I'll stick to those bar turns that I'm used to. After a quick few adjustments here and there, this bike is ready for some serious missions this summer and beyond. And now for an especially fun bike, my Fuel EXE. What do you mean Matt made the E joke already? Well that's what we get for going second. This is the exact bike from the launch video for the Fuel EXE that we shot for Trek last year. And aside from some user generated scratches, this thing is still going strong. That being said, I do love shiny stuff and this bike deserves some love. So it's getting a new drivetrain, a set of brakes, along with a fresh cockpit and saddle to boot. Last but not least is my seldom seen, but often ridden, Trek ticket. I got into mountain biking through dirt jumping, so this bike holds a special place in my heart. I love the simplicity of this bike and how it requires next to no maintenance. If only it could give me the powers of Brandon Semnuck. So that concludes our fleet of bikes and our chronic case of N plus one. Have a question about our bikes or our studio? Let us know in the comments below. Hey Jason, do you uh, have the four mil? Four mil? Pretty sure you had it last. I haven't even touched a tool today. Uh oh. oh. Did you just drop the ceiling? No. Uh, do you mind passing like 4,200 paper towels? 